Well, hello everybody, and I'm just making this uh, vlog uh, in response to a question that we've had. Now, uh, we did a bit of a, uh, a video, uh, a drone flight across the top of Nikita Chloe, and somebody noticed that we had a Max View satellite dish on top, and that's one of the extras that we got when we switched over. Um, we don't use the TV much, but on occasion we do, and it's nice to have a satellite dish so that we can get a very clear picture when we've got clear line of sight to the uh, southeastern sky for the uh, correct satellites. Um, the satellite controller thing, uh, we've been asked how, how it all works. I've got to say, I don't really know um, all I know is that in this cupboard here we have um, these are all the electric controls from the um, from Sargent the electrical controller people that do auto trail stuff and just sat on top here is the max view satellite controller box now let me just show you a bit closer in now you'll notice uh, there's a sort of power switch here and then some several lights and another button um, interestingly there's a USB um, point there and a fuse so um, the way we switch it on is really just simple uh, power it on but that really doesn't do anything apart from start flashing any one of these lights and to get the satellite dish deployed, and it's an auto sort of seek and lock on um, to the correct satellite for where we are, we just press this, press and hold this button, that light starts flashing, and then all those lights start flashing, and then the satellite dish comes up, and I'll just show you how that all works. So you can see the satellite just coming up and uh, now it's sort of seeking around and it's going to sort of lock on to the correct uh, satellite and fix its position so that we can get a decent TV signal. And even though where we are parked um, at our work site, we don't have a completely clear view of the southeastern sky we the satellite does pick up about a hundred hundred and thirty channels um, which is not too bad uh, considering we don't watch that much TV so now you see that all the all these lights here have stopped flashing um, and they're all sort of fixed uh, the satellite is now fully deployed and fixed on to the correct satellite so we can get a decent uh, TV signal. So having a satellite system on the roof uh, seems seems like a great idea, actually, and one that I avoided when we uh, when we first bought Jasmine Meyer. Um, we decided to have an external sort of satellite point um, aerial connection point put in because I I just thought that maybe having a, a portable satellite dish on a tripod would be better or easier um, to sort of use. Uh, I mean, part of the consideration for that was the cost. Um, and I think to have a satellite system like this fitted is about £2,000. Um, so, you know, we were at the top end of our budget when we, you know, when we bought Jasmine. And we we really didn't want to spend any more, so having having those extra bits and pieces wasn't really an option for us. But having um, I consider upgraded to Nikita Chloe the Auto Trail Comanche, um, and having the satellite dish already installed with the Max View, uh, I, I think they call it the the sort of media kit. Um, it is absolutely superb. I would recommend it, actually. Um, 
this seems to work great now you'll notice um, from some of the earlier pictures that you've seen and where we're parked that we're surrounded by trees especially towards the, the front of the van where the satellite sort of dish picks up the satellite um, and we are I think because we're in sort of winter I think we we can see you know the satellite dish can see through the trees a bit better I think when we're in the full height of summer when when that is a complete wall of green I think we might have a difficulty picking up any TV signal from there um, you know we there is a satellite dish on the static caravan that's behind us um, that actually has a sort of sky dish that gets above the trees I think because it's further back it can see a bit more of the the, the right bit of the sky um, where the satellite resides so you know that works ours may not because we're so close to the trees this end but um, apart from that um, there's nothing much else to it 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 really is just a you know switch it on press the button deploy the satellite dish job done then tune the tv in and tuning the tv in is like tuning any other tv in to a signal it's you know go to auto setup click and it takes about two or three minutes to whiz through all the channels lock them in job done um you know we get uh, we get the uh, BBC HD, Channel 5, USA, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we don't watch much of it these days. We sort of weaned ourselves off um, broadcast TV and we watch mainly YouTube, uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video uh, and, and now TV through internet. So... Well, that's nice to have the satellite dish on top. <laughs> you know, we don't really use it that much. But if you're thinking about having a satellite dish fitted to your to your caravan or your motorhome, the Max View just works. Um, you know, I just switch it on, press the button, it it gets up, finds the satellite, just works. And we have used it in other places, not here. And we don't have to retune the telly, which is what, with the aerial, with the free view aerial that we used to use when we want to watch TV, we would have to retune the TV for the region that we, we happen to be in. That doesn't happen with the satellite. And that's not something I really thought about when I said, well, I don't really need a satellite dish. Um, <laughs> it, but that really it really is important it's something that you know the satellite broadcasts from space obviously and it's you're always in the same region because you're always pointing at the same satellite whereas with an aerial with a free view aerial you're not always pointing at the same transmitter so as you move around the country around the UK you'll be in different regions and you'll have to retune your telly with this no retuning we tuned it in once job done that's it so anyway that's it for today i hope um i've just i've forgotten who asked the question sorry about that um i couldn't find in the comments who asked the question there were so many comments these days thank you for those um but i just couldn't find the question and who asked it so my apologies for that um, I hope you don't mind too much that I've forgotten who you are. But there you are. That's the answer to your question. That's how it works. I know you're considering a max view. Do it. I think you're great. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.